Hello and welcome. A week ago, I decided somewhat ad hoc to tape a little video about upgrading R to R4.0. I had thought it was sort of common knowledge how to do that, but um, anyway, that seems to have gotten uh, quite the reception. As of today, YouTube shows 1300 views. So maybe I was wrong about what's common or not common knowledge. Another project idea that I had for close to two years now was to just do a couple of simple little talks about particular short topics, tricks, tips, toys, tools. Um, so today, in a way, is the kickoff. I'm just going to lay out the why, the what, the how, and then hopefully in a week or so from now, we'll start with the very first one. So the why. Um, we used to... Um, do a little thing here in Chicago, co-organized by Joe and uh, Matt Goldberg, um, open source, open mic. And I think I learned it there from Joe that the idea for open source, open mic was sort of similar. It's sometimes not so much the formal learning that you do in a class, a course, a book. It's just seeing others who have some experience in their craft doing a thing. You may pick up other tricks. Um, Joe then used that as the opener for a pretty clever and widely cited um, post on uh, Medium. That may be the only post worth reading on Medium, actually, but I digress. On, uh, on a shell trick. Not sure if we'll get to it, but the idea really is sort of looking at someone else doing it and kind of going, what did you just do? And I hope to accumulate a few of these what did you just do tricks in this series. Um, so it will be short, like a lightning talk. I hope to uh, aim for five, six minutes. Um, my friends from the R Finance series are now all belly laughing because I never managed to keep myself to five minutes. So we'll see how it goes. Focused, a topic in each, uh, one or two uh, tips or tricks, but really just, um, you know, sharp and focused on, on one topic. It's not really fleshed out. I have a couple of notes down, but I'm, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Um, and the idea is to be informal. Um, just, you know, consider it a family style dinner, take some, leave some, ignore some others, enjoy some, some more, do a second helping, doesn't really matter. The key is, this is not meant to be opinionated. So we're not prescribing do it this way or the other way. It's really just whatever. It's a couple of tips, take them or leave them. And so what about, well, it's a bit like, um, the missing semester class in CS run by students for students at MIT that got a little bit of a write up and talk about, or for that matter my own data science programming methods class. Um, so, you know, shall get uh, various topics, but obviously much reduced. We can't do uh, an entire course in these short little videos. And it's not meant to be entirely introductory as a software country. It sort of assumes that you knew a little bit and that it then gets you basically from second to third gear and maybe fourth and overdrive. Um, not picking sides, you know, I don't care. Um, I happen to be working on Linux, so that's where most of my experience has been accumulated. But what I'm showing is influenced by the fact that what I used to do or still do on Linux, I could also do on other operating systems because of the very tools that we're going to show. So it's, it's shell focused because there's a shell on all of those systems. So to reiterate, I mean, it aims to be, you know, universal, portable, cross OS, cross application bit in the sense that R behaves pretty much the same way on all the other operating systems because it abstracts the underlying features away. So we're aiming for things that do the same. So in that sense, it's about bash rather than say PowerShell. Uh, I'm sure there are people that love their particular thing on a particular <coughs> operating system, but that's not what this is about. It's really, it's really about, you know, commonalities that help you on all computer systems to give you hopefully higher productivity. And one common theme between these, of course, is the shell. Um, not sure if you've heard or read this. Uh, as Wikipedia here says, it goes back to 1999, and I must have read it then or in the early 2000s. And I think I read it in just an ASCII file that was online before it became a book. And I assume you can still get it that way somewhere. And it's it's good. I mean, it just you know decomposes how we think about computers with a little bit of a... Um, reference back to uh, then in the art of motorcycle maintenance. So, and, and shell really is a universal theme. Um, Stevenson, of course, is a writer, so he expounds that a lot better than I could. So that's just a bit of a reference. So what are we going to do? Uh, so shell, as I said, then um, something that I like a lot is um, screen tmux or particularly Biobu, 
which I use in its setup as a nicer wrapper around Tmux. Um, if you have not seen that, that's really quite nice and I hope to show a few tricks. Similarly, I had mentioned to a couple of friends that I find that I gain some productivity from using Emacs a lot, um, particularly in Daemon and Emacs client mode, and that's sort of worth showing just to see rather than the write-up. So this format is good for these type of tricks, just the Yobu tricks, the Emacs tricks. And then we'll see where it goes. Maybe a little bit of R, maybe a little bit of Docker. Um, we'll, we'll just see what topics uh, come across. Um, and yeah, so a bit similar to these um, R to the power of four videos that I've done a few times, including last week. So I will generally have slides just like these, talk over it, and will in general, um, as we usually have, but not today, have a shell prompt or then an Emacs window and show a thing or two and the little video. And I will have the slides and the video in a short blog post uh, on my uh, on my website and uh, that's the plan that's just about it so hopefully i'll see you in a week for this um usual last slide with a couple of pointers to see um, links to the presentations on my website and all the other addresses that's all i have for today thanks for listening